Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about factoring quartic trinomials. We have two examples today. This is a trinomial, and it's a quartic trinomial because it has an exponent of 4. And luckily, quartic trinomials factor just like a problem like this. We have x squared minus 2x minus 3. This has an exponent of 1, and that has an exponent of 2. As long as this exponent is double that exponent, and this term has no exponent, we can use the same format for factoring. So how do you factor this one? Well, we asked ourselves, and I have two numbers that multiply to negative 3 that add up to negative 2. In this case, two numbers that multiply to negative 3 that add up to negative 2 will be negative 3 and positive 1. And we put an x out front, and that is the factored form of that. So luckily, this problem is the same exact setup. Um, we're going to do the two parentheses. Instead of putting x and x to make x squared, we're going to put x squared and x squared, and that will make x to the fourth when multiplied. And same question, what are two numbers that multiply to negative 3 that add up to negative 2? The answer is still negative 3 and positive 1. Okay, so that's the answer to this one. So one more example here. Again, it's in the same format. It's a trinomial. And this exponent is double that. So I can use just the normal factoring, a trinomial method, uh, where a is 1. I can just say to myself, hey, I need two numbers that multiply to 28 that add up to negative 11. So numbers that multiply to 28 and add up to negative 11 would be negative 7 and negative 4. This would be x squared. And this would be x squared because I need those two to multiply to be x to the fourth. Now, if I wanted to check if these are correct, remember, you could do box method on this to actually multiply it out. Um, this question is not done. Both of these set factor completely. So before I box my answer, I need to check and make sure, can I factor some more? Neither of these can be factored anymore, but this one right here, that one can be factored some more. That's a difference of two squares. A difference of two squares means that we have a minus sign, and both terms are completely perfect squares. x squared is a perfect square, and 4 is a perfect square. So to factor a difference of two squares, you write two parentheses, one with a plus, one with a minus, and then you square root the front, x squared, and you write it in both fronts. Then you square root the 4, which is 2, and you write it in both backs. Now this one didn't change. They can't factor that. It's the same appearance, but that's not a perfect square. 7 is not a perfect square. So in that case, our answer to this question is x squared minus 7, x plus 2, x minus 2. And that's factoring for trinomials. Thank you for watching.